Hi lovely Aquarius, welcome to your October 2022 astrology horoscope forecast. I'm Anisha, I talk everything around astrology and tarot on my channel. October brings about a phase of eclipses this month and the next which is in Taurus and Scorpio. We started in 2019 and the eclipses are going to carry on till about 2023. So it can be quite an intense transformational time for you more so because you're a fixed sign Aquarius and this eclipse is going to be affecting fixed signs specifically. So we have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and uh, Aquarius U that is going to get affected. Even though most of us have Taurus in our birth chart or Scorpio in our birth chart somewhere or the other it would be worth a while to be seeing as to where exactly it's aspecting for us. Taurus also is all about uh, reliability, it's an earth sign about dependability but the interesting thing is that uh, Uranus, the planet of uh, chaos, unpredictability uh, is going to be transiting through Taurus. It has been since about 2018 and will carry on doing so for the next couple of years. So Uranus is bringing about an entire uh, sense of uncertainty with it and uh, he's known as a wild boy of astrology. So, you know, it, things are chaotic, they are unpredictable, you do not know which door is opening, which door is shutting. But the good thing also is because Uranus rules the internet, uh, it speaks about the future, it speaks about technology. So it would be worth your while to be not just investing in technology but also investing in yourself by upgrading yourself to some technology. Uh, it is also uh, a time because Scorpio is ruled by the planets, warrior planets of Mars and Pluto to be taking a look at your own psychological patterns uh, Aquarius. Scorpio is all about going deep under and it's not very happy with just the superficial answers. So you may find yourself looking at um, you know maybe whether if, if it's regarding your relationship whether it's regarding your work uh, it may just have to do with a very deep-seated psychological uh, pattern or a wiring in you as to why it is that you're responding or reacting to the way that you are um, to take a cue we can look back at the eclipse that happened in 2012 to 2014 and that two and a half year phase as to where it is that you were, what was going on with you, were you in between um, relationships, was your marriage going through a tough time, were you in between jobs, were you struggling for money uh, and what were the lessons that you learned during that time, what was it that after the two and a half uh, years that you know you came out thinking that yeah you know I could have done this better or I know this better now, I know how to deal with this, it would be worth your while to Remind yourself of your resilience, of your courage, of your wisdom that you used during that time and that can be applied right now. It's um, This entire eclipse uh, phase is going to be asking you to transform yourself. It's asking you to shed your old skin and literally turning into a, a new leaf or getting into a new skin uh, Aquarians. It's asking you to shed your old inhibitions, your older ways of looking at things and to be more flexible, be more courageous, be more vulnerable and also because we have uh, Taurus which is all about self-worth. It's about valuing yourself more. Don't put limitations for yourself. Maybe it's just you who's thinking that you don't deserve it. Maybe you feel that you know fantastic job that is there you feel that you know I don't deserve it I don't think so I can do a good job or I will ever get that uh, job or I even or, or that even that I'm deserving of it it could be worth your while to be pushing your boundaries to be valuing yourself more to be holding holding yourself more um, closely than you ever have practice that self-compassion uh, as well let me break down the month for you. On the second, we have Mercury that goes direct in your house of learning. This is also the house of spirituality and long distance travel. So there could be some 
communication, conversations that could be going on. There could be some amount of travel as well that could be happening internationally. A wonderful time to be learning, even if it's a long distance, um, you know, course. Wonderful time, acquaintance. I can't emphasize it enough to be upskilling yourself as far as technology is concerned. On the ninth, we have a full moon that is there in your house of uh, siblings. This is again the house of communication and short distance travel, and it's joining Jupiter over here. Now, full moons tends to, uh, you know, uh, make us quite emotional because something is coming to an end, something is uh, reaching its culmination and, you know, we can feel quite overwhelmed with our emotions. So it can be that, um, you know, if there has been a spat with a sibling, maybe you're ending that spat now. Maybe you are, um, you know, you have to deal with your sibling. So there could be these conversations. You could be reconnecting with your sibling or you could be elevating the relationship. Um, it can be in certain in, in you know, depending as to how the rest of the planets are placed, if things have been like really uh, hard between you and your sibling, that you may just decide to go your separate ways and just take a break and not speak with each other. Uh, for some of you, you may have to deal with something in your community like finishing a community project or making some changes to improve your uh, close environment. Uh, for some of you, you could also have to deal um, you know with communications you may find that you are having a tougher time than you normally have uh, as to getting your point across or making yourself understood uh, so uh, remember to practice patience Aquarius try not to sort of get lost in other people's script you know stick to what it is that you're trying to say and what is it that you're trying to convey because it can be that people can come at you uh, you know left and right and they could be demanding uh, more of you and it could just overwhelm you uh, they can also be this can also be a time where there can be some unexpected appointments some unexpected uh, travel so make sure that you are uh, flexible you could feel quite overworked uh, during this time and you could you know you just may just feel you know, that there is just no time and everything seems really amped up right now so focus on what needs to get done um, and uh, you know uh, on a priority and just let yourself off the hook aquarians leave some space for yourself for your own mental health for your own soul health so that you can breathe and you can just sort of uh, be at peace with yourself your feelings and your uh, words could be tied together as well during this time so you may just you know find it to be a tangled web and things could be a little confusing when you're trying to convey them so try and disassociate especially at work your feelings or your emotions with your words or with your communication on the 11th we have mercury that is moving into your house of um, again uh, long distance travel and uh, the house of spirituality so for some of you you could be deepening your spirituality you could be uh, maybe looking at a certain direction and you could would you would want to sort of uh, you would require guidance and uh, spirituality is something which could be bringing you a lot of peace during this time again a wonderful time to be studying as well on the 24th we have sun that moves into your house of career reputation and uh, this is a place where uh, you know we um, look at external validation and see as to how it is that the world perceives us and uh, is joining Venus over there and on the 25th we have a new moon solar eclipse which is there in your house of career as well and that is not at all on the 30th you're closing the month with Mercury that is coming in joining the party in this house of career and reputation so a lot of drama is going to be happening at workplace and hopefully all good drama so it can be that for a lot of you maybe suddenly there is something that has come up at your work maybe you've been given more uh, work but there has been no more money maybe it's just like an empty designation that even though they are accolades and people are really appreciating your work but the money is not as much as that you would like it to be so they could just be this sense of feeling quite dissatisfied uh, at work it can also be in certain cases that something just comes about really suddenly that you have not been working towards maybe a new job opportunity comes about and you take it and this could be something which is not planned for you have not been working towards 
shirts is just you know out of the blue it comes and it could be a lovely surprise as well um, this house at times also speaks about uh, open enemies so it can be you know that either there's some you know gossip around you or maybe you may find that people are watching you more closely than you know normally they would be and it could be hard to keep things hidden at this point of time so again remind yourself of your boundaries at work you know try not to share your personal uh, stuff that um, you know you could be going through uh, leave it for the therapist uh, it's a uh, an amazing time and I think any time is a good time to be going in for therapy but a wonderful time to be going in for therapy and trying to find your balance and trying to find uh, harmony again don't get overwhelmed by um, you know uh, how much you have to do and try and delegate as much as uh, possible and at times you will find the energy being really intense so try and um, keep stress at bay you have to find me time during this eclipse i can't stress it enough you have to just sort of step back and you have to uh, just stay focused on what needs to get done uh aquarians try not to sort of fray your nerves too much and just you know um get overwhelmed by everyone you know so even despite the fact that everyone is being really ultra demanding of you uh, practice pushing back without feeling guilty and saying you know this is what, how much I can do this is to the limit of what I can uh, deal with as of now and beyond this uh, you know there, it'll just have to be another time and space I can't uh, manage more long-term professional goals uh, can be formulated now you know which are more uh, uh, realistic they are more attainable and they'll help you get uh, you further in your job as well so there can be a lot of conversation around your work around um, you know you could be maybe making uh, presentations maybe there could be some accomplishments maybe you are being called upon and you know given that recognition but um, I think um, the um, you know it does speak about work advancement but it would be worth your while to uh, you know blow your own horn so to speak don't shy away from uh, making people count your accomplishments and uh, just remember that we are also dealing with a lot of self-worth issues this month Aquarius. so uh, if there are no cheerleaders around uh, remember to cheer yourself up and be your own cheerleader do remember to like subscribe and hit the notification bell i would love to hear from you if this content resonated with you do leave a comment below i'll see you again soon and thank you so much